Hello everybody, hello, welcome to the Tuto de Vito. What's up? How are you today? Are you okay? Right, so in today's lesson, we're going to talk about quantifiers. Ooh, what the hell is this? Quantifiers. Quantifiers are little words that people use to express quantity. And we are going to focus on, well, two specific quantifiers. And those two uh, quantifiers are few and a few and little and a little. Yeah? All right. Brace yourselves. Let's go. Great, so let's uh, start with a few and few. Let me show you two examples and we will start from that. Um, when I was a kid, I had a few friends. When I was a kid, I had few friends. Ah, what is the difference between a few and few? Well, first of all, few is always used um, with a countable noun. Countable means that you can count one friend, two friends, three friends. They are countable. In the first sentence, I, am, I had a few friends. A few means a small number. In French, we would say quelques. J'avais quelques amis. And th that is a, a positive statement. I had a few friends. Whereas in the second sentence, I had few friends. Well, few is used in um, a negative statement. So it clearly has a negative meaning. In this particular situation, when you say I had few friends, it means you had almost no friends. You wish you had more friends and you were not particularly happy about the situation. In French, few could be translated with um, peu. Okay, j'avais peu d'amis. Okay, do you understand the difference between a few and few? Yeah? Okay, well, now let's um, skip to little and a little. So let's take, um, let's take two examples. I give a little money to my son every month. Compare this sentence to I have little money, so I can't afford a new car. First thing to um, say is that little and a little are used with uncountable nouns. So nouns that it is not possible to count. Okay, it is not possible to count money. No. You can count euros, yes, or you can count dollars, like one dollar, two dollars, or one euro, two euros. But you can't count money. It's not possible to say one money, two monies. No, it's just money. So it's uncountable. So when you are using an uncountable noun, you have to use little and a little. Now, when you say, I give a little money to my son, it's a positive statement. It means, basically, I give 
a little amount of money, a little quantity, okay? You could say, um, I give some money to my son, some, some is fine, a little. However, in the second example, when you say, um, I have little money, it's a negative statement. It has a negative meaning. It means you don't have much money. You have almost nothing. And you wish you had more money. Um, is it okay? Do, do, would you like a second example, maybe? A second example would be, oh, cool. We still have a little time. We still have a little time. It's a positive statement. It means that you have a little time. But when you say, oh no, we have little time left. We have little time left. It's a negative statement. All right, I hope this makes sense. A few, few, a little, little, positive statement, negative statement, countable, uncountable, okay? If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the section below. Ask me anything you like and I will be very happy to type an answer. Um, please, please consider subscribing and leaving a thumbs up and just spreading the word, okay? Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later in a next episode. Until then, take care and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.